Good morning everyone. My name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel, Carla Being Crafty, where I talk about mostly craft stitch but also other crafts that I enjoy and a little bit of life thrown in. Uh, today is my floss tube number 173 and it is January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year everybody. Um, it is actually about one o'clock in the morning. Um, I just finished my Zoom call. Um, our Stitchy Zoom uh, New Year's Eve meetup. It was tons of fun. I was on Zoom uh, starting at actually 7.30. I went on a little bit early and somebody was on. So, um, and as I said, we just got done. Um, so, uh, so it's late for me, but I had people who stayed on even though they are two or three hours ahead of me. So for them, it was really late, um, but we had a great time. Uh, stitching and chatting and some people were enjoying their adult beverages. Um, I was enjoying my Clearly Canadian that I splurged on um, for the event. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a great time. So thank you everybody who joined me on the Zoom. Um, if I wasn't able to say hi to you directly, um, I know Debbie was on there and I didn't and you were on like the second page because actually there was like 12 people there at one point I think um I thought I was going to be on the, on the New Year's Eve Zoom all by myself but I wasn't so um if I wasn't able to say hi directly um I'm sorry uh we'll have to connect another time but um it was a lot of fun and um I appreciate all of you guys so much um so thank you so um I want to say welcome to everybody. Um, my lighting is probably going to seem a little bit dark today, again, because it is, uh, you know, when one thirty in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning. What time is it? It's about 1. Um, and uh, normally I do this in the morning and have my window open for natural light and stuff. And none of that today. It's actually been raining here all day. And actually started raining yesterday. It wasn't even supposed to rain but it's been raining all day today, um, which is uh, interesting. Um, yeah, so so this might seem a little bit darker. Um, the reason I'm doing this video so late or so early, however you wanna put it, is because I realized I'm tired and um, after I get done with this and settle down, go to sleep, I don't wanna get up at 7.30 to do a video tomorrow. So I figured I'd go ahead and do it before I went to bed, um, possibly even get it uploaded before I go to bed, depending on how long it takes. Um, and then I can sleep in. And then tomorrow I will be filming my uh, finished parade and either posting it tomorrow night or Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy to have all you guys uh, be my friends on Plastic going into uh, 2023. Um, so hopefully, did I say welcome? If I didn't say welcome, then welcome. If this is your first time finding my channel, um, I hope that you like what you see, want to hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, if you would like to give me a monetary tip, there's a super thanks button. Um, I always appreciate when people use that, although it is totally not necessary, but I do appreciate it and any money um, that you give through the channel kind of goes back to the channel to help pay for my Zoom meetings um, because I do... Uh, you don't have to pay for a monthly Zoom subscription so that I can have meetings that can last as long as I want them to. And um, and any postage that <clears throat> um, happens with, with giving stuff away or sending stuff out or whatever. So, um, speaking of Zooms, I have scheduled um, the next one for January. We're going to do it on January 15th. Um, at two o'clock in the afternoon. That is a Sunday. Um, Sunday is the easiest day for me to schedule ahead of time when I don't know exactly what my schedule is going to be like as far as seeing my family and stuff like that. So um, I know that that doesn't work for everybody, but um, I will try and move the Zooms around around the week, around the weekend um, as we go throughout the year. But the next one is going to be January 15th. Sunday at two o'clock and all of the that information plus the blog information will be 
listed in the description box below. Um, so I don't think this is going to be a super long video, um, for obvious reasons, <laughs> um, because it's, it's late and I'm tired and I just want to be able to show you guys the stuff that I worked on this week and a few housekeeping things and then we will move on and, um, yeah, and get into the new year and all the good stitching that's going to happen next year. Um, for those of you that watched my floss naked videos, if you're interested in little golden book updates, I was able to contact most of the people um, that won this uh, yesterday and um, gave them options of books. So um, most of the books are picked for everybody. And um, yeah, and I'm going to move forward with that and I will keep you guys all posted on uh, the, the local journal progress. Um, okay, so I do have a finish to show you. Um, so I did get the last finish in before the end of the year and I finished Sweet William this week, which is a Riolis kit done with uh, the acrylic and wool floss. And I am very happy with this finish. And you know, I was watching, I was watching somebody, somebody and they said something about going back to last year's lit parade. I think they were probably like getting pictures or whatever. And I thought, oh, you know, I want to go back and just check out my whip parade and my, you know, where were my projects? And I realized after looking at my 2021 whip parade that last year I had only done this, the, the green at the bottom, this clump of flowers and this clump of flowers. That's all I had done. So everything else on this was done this year. And I don't feel like I worked on this like exclusively or, or you know, like an inordinate amount of time. So it is definitely doable for me to finish these things. <laughs> but anyway, so that was my finish. Um, I think that got me up to 22 finishes for the year. So, um, as I said, I'm going to do the finished parade. Um, I'm going to film it tomorrow and then post it either late tomorrow or Monday. Um, so that'll be exciting. It'll be exciting for me to do and hopefully exciting for you guys to watch as well. Okay. So, uh, I had three whips this week besides, um, the Sweet William. Um, I worked on my... My Lion Biscornu. I'm doing this with my friend Don Dufal. We're not doing the same thing. We're just both doing a Biscornu. Um, I haven't really posted <laughs> pictures, but if you want to post, um, this is my first Biscornu and her first Biscornu. So we're using the hashtag Biscornu Beginner. Biscornu is fun to say. And um, I started this in August. And... Um, trying to see which one. Okay. So, mm, this is the first one I did, then the second and third. And yeah, I get him. I got him done. So now I'm on the last one. Um, I think most of the flowers are done, and then I just have to do the back part and put it together. And I pulled all my col my own colors for this, just with what I had in stash. So I don't know when I'll get this finished. I, I might stick it in just because, um, just to get it done sooner rather than later. But if not, then I'll stick it into one of the themes. I don't know which one yet. Um, okay, I also worked on my, oops, my Chatelaine this week, my Green Lace Mandala. And here is the, as I say every week, not great picture, just to give you an idea. So this was done, because originally it was a mystery and it was done in three parts. So the first part is this square. The second part is these triangle-y bits and the outside border and then the third part were these corners and the, um, the flowers and stuff. So I finished 
the first part completely. Oops. And I started started on the second part. And I did go ahead and put this on um, a scroll frame because it was just getting to the point where it was hard with the hoop to get at you know the bottom section. So as I said, I finished the first part, the square, and started in on the first triangle bit. I didn't get that far into it though. There's quite a bit of like just plain cross stitches to do before um, you get into, I think it uses, I think Jessica stitches or road stitches or something in that section. So I was stitching on this, I think on Wednesday and was enjoying it so much. It's like, I didn't want to put it down. And I mean, I had to, cause I had to go to bed and everything. And I just like, I didn't want to stop stitching on it. So I ended up stitching on it two days in a row because I was having so much fun. And then the third um, whip that I worked on this week was Cat Collage, Laurel Bir Birch's Cat Collage. my patterns to my stitching so I gotta take that off um so I finished this whole cat and this cat was the part of his face was done but not the body so basically I finished these two cats and then you know brought some of the black down a little bit more on that one in a long time and it was fun to pull it out and work on it. Daggy is confused. He's wondering, what am I doing up so late? I think I'm not awake at this time most nights, but I'm not up. Okay. Then I have two new starts. New year, new starts. Um, so I have one thing that I did tonight while I was on the Zoom, and then actually one thing that I started on Wednesday. But I'm still considering it a new year, a new year, new start. And so the one I did Wednesday, I started Kitty Litter, which is a Dimensions Gold Kit. And I was talking on on the Zoom today, Jen, um, Backcountry Stitcher. Backcountry, right? Yeah. Anyway, she said she did this and she said it's gorgeous and she's, she's right. It's, and you know, she said it's really, really beautiful when it's done. So that's how much I got done on it. But the one thing I, I was discussing this with her and she said, yeah, she goes, it's a pain when you're doing it. But a lot of this background, usually with dimensions, the background is like half stitches and they use all different like numbers of threads and types of stitches, you know, whether it's full cross or half cross to create the dimension um, of their name. But the part that I was working on, it was four strands, four strands. Now it's just a half stitch, but still four strands in 18 count Ada is a lot of floss to pull through. And I know that it actually calls for 1.5 strands. So man, um, I ended up using a like a 24, size 24 needle with a big eye, just so that I can make, you know, so that the hole would be open enough to drag the, the floss through a little bit easier because it was hard to get that floss through that much floss through that narrow of a space and then the project that I started today um, on the zoom call is my artisy full coverage of pinky and blue boy Pinky is by Sir Thomas Lawrence and Blue Boy is by Thomas Gainsborough and they're pretty famous paintings. They were actually created a hundred years apart, but for whatever reason, they're always kind of 
put together as a as a couple, as a pair, and they are on display as a pair at the Huntington Museum and uh, Botanical Gardens, which I've seen. And as I've said before, my mom always had uh, little reproductions of those in our house. I have them now. And um, so when I started stitching and I saw people that did stitch, you know, sort of masterwork paintings, I always wondered if I could find one that was Pinky Blue Boy, and I did. So. Um, I did start it. Uh, okay. I'm kind of paint, take these off. Okay. So I'm stitching these on one piece of fabric, and I'm kind of, since I stitch my full coverages on the diagonal, I'm doing like one diagonal of pinky and then one diagonal of blue boy, and one diagonal of pinky, one diagonal of blue boy so that they will grow and be finished at the same time. So this is Pinky and this is Blue Boy. You can see <laughs> they're just teeny little starts. Well, actually they're not teeny little starts. This is like, like 800, eight or 900 stitches. I'm doing it 10 stitch, 28 count, two over one tenth stitch. So not very exciting yet, but it was fun to start it. It's exciting to start it, let's put it that way. Might be, might not be totally exciting to see yet, but um, it is exciting to do. And you guys might find this interesting. When I kitted it up, oh, hold on. When I kitted it up, um, since I'm doing it as like one project, I didn't want to, I kitted it up as one project basically. And some of the flosses were in both charts. And in some cases they have the same symbol and in some cases they didn't have the same symbol. So usually when I use floss cards like this, I, um, I will cut, I will get a copy of the key and put both the symbol and the number so they're in a numerical order. Um, so how I did it was I labeled them and then highlighted either pink or blue. So you can see ones that only have one label are only in one chart, but then there's some like this, oops, like that, uh, which is 310, which is in two charts. And in this case, the 310 has the same symbol. But then there's other cases where, like this one, Blue Boy is a, the symbol's a five, and for Pinky, it's a triangle. So that's how I did that. So I have to be careful when I'm pulling threads to make sure that I'm getting the pink or the blue and not mix them up. And that is all of my projects for this week. So haul, um, I just have a teeny bit to show you. And in fact, one of the things that I got, I can't find, it's over here somewhere, but I got more of the little um, magnetic uh, ties that I'm using on everything. Um, so they're somewhere over there. And then I got, some more of, I don't even know if you can tell what these are, but they're clear label stickers, the little round ones that I use when I'm kidding up. And the reason I did that is because I, I guess I kind of lost my mind a little bit here. Um, I, weeks ago, kind of when I got Pinky and Blue Boy, I decided I wanted to look at some other companies that had um, full coverage projects so that, you know, because I know, I mean, hey, Heaven and Earth Designs is fantastic and I have several patterns from them, but I know there's other companies too and I see people 
talk about them and show projects and stuff. So I just kind of wanted to look and I like Golden Kite is to my mind pretty expensive. So I looked on that one. I looked on Artisy. I found those patterns on Artisy. So I was looking at a couple other companies um, based on like, you know, some of the floss tubers that I watched had shown something and um, I went on to Unconventional Craft Stitch and I was just, you know, looking around no intentions of buying anything and um, they had some Amy Brown patterns and I know Heaven Earth Design has some Amy Brown patterns too but these of course were different ones and um, I came across this pattern that I just thought was gorgeous now I like kit, uh, kit, um, stitching full coverage that are smaller right the quick stitches or the minis um, but no this one was full it's like 600 and 50 by 459 um that's crazy right like I don't want to stitch anything that big but I love this chart so much and I said no and I went on my merry way and I thought about this pattern for two weeks and I finally figured I was like you know what it's right before the end of the year I really want to try and do a, a no buy or at least a low buy next year um I have so many, so much stuff that I've recently gotten that I had before. I have projects <coughs> for days. I don't need to get any more things. Um, you know, my only, my only exception would be if I'm kidding something up and I really need specific floss that I don't have. But other than that, there's no reason that I should need to really purchase anything. So I thought before the end of the year, I've been thinking about this chart. Go ahead and get it. So I went ahead and got it. And of course, when I was putting it in my cart, and you know, it's a pattern, it's a PDF. It was only like $13. No biggie. Putting it in my cart, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just getting it to have it, and I'm not going to stitch it now. There's no reason that I would need to stitch it now. I found myself an hour later looking at fabric and thinking, well, I need this size piece and, you know, I could dye it myself. And I was kind of intrigued by that because I got the no background version, right? Or at least it's a no background version. Um, so I was looking at fabric and I found a piece on one, two, three stitch that was, you know, a nice Lugana, white Lugana that I could, that I, that was a good size for this, that I could dye myself. And I'm like, well, if I'm getting a piece of fabric, I went ahead and I bought all the flosses. So they're coming in the next week or so. And I think I'm going to go ahead and kit this up and start it. So after all that intro, what is the pattern? It's called Let Sleeping Dragons Lie by Amy Brown. And it is this. And I just, I couldn't get it out of my head. I just couldn't get that purple and turquoise dragon sleeping in the fairy's lap out of my head so i know i'm crazy you know that's gonna take me 20 years to stitch but oh well <laughs> okay so that is it and then the last thing that i want to talk to you about just briefly is plans for january so I've already discussed with you guys my whole idea of doing themes for every month. Um, so January is going to be a focus on full coverage. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to try um, this weekend. I will pull the projects that I think fit into the theme that I want to to work on, specifically for this theme this month. And I'm going to try and take a before shot. And if I don't take a shot every week, at least I'll take a before and an end. So I'm going to use the hashtag January theme and the hashtag focus on full coverage because that is the theme for this month. And then the other thing that we're going to be doing this month and anybody who wants to join, please do. Um, one of the, um, one of my subscribers that I kind of, I met through my Flastica videos, um, because she did uh, comment on a couple of them and then one. So um, her name is Meg. Her channel, I don't think she has a floss tube channel, but she does have um, an Instagram page, uh, Books in the Moon. Um, anyway, Meg Meg was really interested in the Riolis kits that I was opening, partly because she didn't know that um, any Riolis kits you could get 
with anchor floss and there are some so you have to kind of read the description because uh, most of them come with the acrylic wool but she's allergic to wool so she can't get those kits but some of them come with anchor floss which is cotton so she was really excited to hear about that um, but then she was also extremely excited when I uh, pulled out this chart which is called um, Orange Mood, and it's a black work chart, realist black work, and again uses anchor, um, stranded cotton. So she was, she just loved it. She immediately ordered it, and then she contacted me. She's like, you know, I ordered that kit. Do you want to sell it with me? And I was like, sure. Um, and that, you know, for me, it's like, well, if we both have it, then let's go ahead and start it. So I looked on the calendar. <laughs> I looked on January unusual holidays. And I found out that January 15th, which is the day of our Zoom, January 15th is opposite day. So I was like, okay, well, why don't we start it on opposite day? Because, you know, not that black work is the opposite of cross stitch, but, you know, there's a loose thread there. So anyway, we're going to start. This is a sal on January 15th, and we're using the hashtag bring out the black work sal. So if you would like to join us, you can join us with this kit or any black work kit that you want and post pictures on the Instagram of your black work. Hashtag bring out the black work sal. So that is another thing I'm starting in January. So that brings us to what? One, two, three, four new projects if I start Let Sleeping Dragons Lie, which I'm going to get kitted up this month. And if I get it kitted up, there's going to be a few stitches that go in it, although I do have to dye the fabric. So that might take me a little bit of time. But anyway, and then the other thing that I'm thinking of kitting up and starting this month, it'll be either this month or next month, um, is Country Garden which is one of my county canvas projects that I got not too long ago. Um, I'm making a couple changes in colors. Um, I'm using a different color. The one, the variegated one here that's kind of purple orangey, it's called um, Ethiopia. And instead, I'm using this one because I had two skeins of it. Called peach melba that's the one i'm going to use but it still has the purple in it so it goes with the iris which is the other one that's called for and then i'm changing the color the main color back here is a uh, dmc pearl and it's beaver gray is what's called for and i'm changing it to a light pink color but i don't have it yet so when I get that, I have a few flosses that are coming for that. Um, I might start that this month or I might wait until next month, which is florals. So those are what is in the works for me. Um, the other projects that I'll be stitching on in January is um, Catnap Fay, which if I push that one, I could possibly get a finish on it. Hopefully, um, I would like to get a finish on that, but I also, because of starting these new projects that I'm excited about, um, I don't, I mean, you know, I don't want to stitch on it exclusively. So I'm going to try and stitch on it a couple times a week and maybe I can get a finish this month. If not, it will definitely get finished sometime this year because it just doesn't have that much left on it. Um, so I have that one, I have Kitty Magic, and I have a uh, mini Flower Kitty. Um, and then I will have these new ones that I'm starting. So that is what's gonna be in my theme, focus on full coverage for January. Um, so I think that is getting to be about it. I don't know why I'm writing down my uh, tagline here. I forgot it. And usually if I forget it, I don't say it. So I just wrote it down so I do say it. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm getting a little punchy, you guys. 
Um, but again, I hope you guys have a wonderful, I hope you've had a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope you're going to have a wonderful new year. Um, and, um, that everybody is safe and well. I wish everybody health and happiness and all, all the stitchy time that you want and, um, all the good things. So until I see you guys again, please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Happy New Year, everybody.